All right, it's time to meet this week's second chance pet. A cat with a name that embodies royalty is looking for a forever home. This is Khaleesi, a 10-year-old kitty named after the iconic Game of Thrones character. Or land? I have never seen Game of Thrones. No, that's a character. But anyway, yeah. Khaleesi still needs a patient family to warm up to. Yeah, so joining <laughs> us live to introduce us to Khaleesi is Sam Ellingson with the Humane Society for Southwest Washington. Good morning. What a cute little kitty. Hi. I know, and, and she's, yeah, she really is like a little queen, like you mentioned before, and she's, um, she's decided that she doesn't really want to spend much time with me. Uh, she, she came out for a couple minutes, and now she's going to go right back up here. This is her, her favorite little perch. There you um, go. Over which she will, you know, rule her, her new kingdom. Right, that's her so, throne. That's her throne. <laughs> so like, you, uh, so you told happy. us Khaleesi was a bit of a long timer at the shelter. Yeah, yeah. So Khaleesi was here for us, uh, here with us for quite a while, um, looking for a new home. Um, she is a little bit of an older girl. She's ten years old, but she really, to me, doesn't act much like a like an older cat. She is still pretty active. She is very social, despite what she's showing you right now. Uh, yesterday, when I was trying to get some photos of her, she wouldn't stand still. She was walking around the room. She was rubbing up against my legs and all of that. So during her time at the shelter she has really started to acclimate well but she is a little bit of a shy cat and so um, she was adopted like we said uh, she had been here for a long time she was adopted she was into a new home and she just didn't get along with well the resident cats at her new home didn't get along with her and so she came back to stay with us more recently and now she is looking for that new home mm. so what kind of household are you looking for for khaleesi then so for Khaleesi, we of course want to have a little bit of a quieter home because she is shy, because we know that it'll take her a little time to settle into her new environment. Um, for her, we're going to say take a couple weeks to really get used to where she's at. Um, but once she settles in, she's really quite social. We want to make sure she has older kids in her new home. So kids over six would be great for her. And then also we want to make sure that um, if there are other cats in the home, that she has some gradual time to get to know them and for them to get to know her because we don't want any sort of bullying going on with cats and resulting in uh, in anyone having to to come back home and uh, come back over here and stay with us and look for another new family. Yeah, so it's not that she can't be in a home with, with other right, animals. Right. She, she is social eventually, just needs you, a little time. She's kind of going to crack her open after yeah, a little bit. Yeah, to get everyone to kind yeah, of loosen up. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you know, just like people, if we start sharing a new space with people, we're all going to have our own little quirks, our own little eccentricities that are going to get in the way of us sharing the same space. And with cats, with dogs, with, with any newly adopted pet, we want to make sure to give them that time to get to know that space so they can settle in, figure out what's theirs and what's not theirs, and figure out how to share that same space together. Yeah. Well, and I know with, with cats especially, uh, those introductions are so important. What, what advice do you have for someone who is introducing a new cat or kitten if they already have a cat or two at home? Yeah, that's, no, that's a great question. And uh, typically what we want families to do, and our staff provides more information about this when, the, when a cat is adopted, but the best way to do it is to sort of introduce them room by room by room. And so you might give your newly adopted cat a bedroom and where they'll have their food in their litter box and they'll spend several days in there. And it gives that other cat in the house the chance they can sort of smell each other under the door, know that another cat is there. Uh, then once that cat is, uh, once they've sort of gotten used to the smell of each other, you can open up to the next room and then to the next room and the next room. So you're sort of, they're graduating to the rest of the space in their home. And hopefully, most families have an opportunity to do that. If they don't, there are other ways that our staff can help them manage that introduction. But it, it's all about just giving space bit by bit so they can start mm. to get used to each other. Yeah, that, that gradual effort to mm -hmm. make sure that everybody's comfortable. Well, Sam, thank you for introduce, introducing us to Khaleesi. I'm sure that uh, she will find that, that forever home here quite soon. I mean, those eyes. I know, she's They're so beautiful. Pretty, yeah. Little white socks. And thank you for having us. I'm sorry she didn't come out to, to say hi to you guys That's a little okay. bit earlier. But well, I, you, you, you called her shy, there. so she was like, I have to live up to this. She's uh, royalty. <laughs> she'll, <laughs> yeah. she'll greet us plebeians when she's ready. Yes, yes, exactly. We're just setting expectations here. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yes. All well, right. Thank you, Sam. Sam. And if you do want to meet Khaleesi so or much. check out the other pets up for adoption, you can go to that website. That's hssw.org. Org. Right, she could be uh, your sun and stars. This is true. That's a Game of Thrones reference. I don't I know. You don't get it.